Well, good morning, everybody. Glad to see you here. Sorry, I'm a minute or two late. Uh, I'm over here uh, at Riverside. So <clears throat> we got a work day <clears throat> you know, today. The staff's over here. It'll probably be about... ...excited to be able to... ...in place. Right in. Uh, it's an interesting chapter. ...place, you know... In terms of response, is the one who's the prophet. Isaiah chapter 61. Who is of Bozrah and royal robes? I've seen your salvation power to against uh, right the wrongs done. You know, the Edomite who comes from Edom, you know, from your, it is I announcing that we, then that we can look into. So red, out grapes. In my anger, I have, there were grapes. I have trampled my for the time has come to ransom them no one intervened so I might with my wrath in my anger and down spilling so wow you know of course there's a lot of analogy well and so about this wine press when Jesus returns, the passage is correlated to 19 verses 30. The name is called the word nations, and he himself with the rod of and the wrath of the God. You know, is reminding Jesus has a picture that we have. A Graphic help us to understand the, and then it says, you know, alone or reminds us belongs to alone. Though, and we're going to be able to judge judgment people or to the people that belongs to it comes to judgment it's outside, it's inside of Christ. Not in a form of con, but in a way of rebuke, back into relationship him. Uh, then in verse seven, just kind of let's flip this over. Uh, in verse seven, I will tell of in love. I will praise, you know, of the Lord. And I will rejoice in granted according to His mercy and love. My very own people betray me again. And Savior, so, and their Savior from the from our Savior knows that we him, even though he knows that our, you know uh, is going to, on this life, even you know become more and more allowing him to work. Uh, he knows that he, uh, willing to save and to love. He lifted them up in the years, but they rebelled against him. They grieved his holy, became their enemy and fought. He's talking about the people of Israel. Then there were those days of old people out of Egypt. They cried, the one who brought you with Moses as their shepherd. Where is the one sent his holy spirit people? Where is the one whose power Moses lifted up his hand? You know the one see before them make forever. Where is the one who led? See, there were aliens racing through the desert, never stopped. As with cattle, a peaceful valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave you led your people, Lord, and gained reputation. And so I love that he's talking about, you know, the Lord, you know, what God has done. Prayer, this prayer, you know, that we're at, you know, right now is prophetic 
in the mouth of one of Judah's Babylonian exiles. So, so as expressing what somebody is actually praying to God. Um, we've gone through, are you Lord? And example of how lowest place we can praise the Lord his goodness. And this is what I can want to for just a second, because he's talking, where are you? You're the one who did this. You know, so he's, he's, he's still, God. he's revealing how God is good. He is reminding that God is our savior and that his love, you know, his care, you know, his care. And yet he's still turning his minds towards God. And so I ask, you know, are there some things that you and I are going through that, God, where are you? Where are you in this pain, suffering? Where are you in this loss? And can we praise God for who he is in the, where are you? And yet at the same time, Psalms of lament, you know, the lament, you know, when we're crying out to God, start out by still, by telling how awesome and how wonderful he is. And then we're completely vulnerable and open before God. Where is going on? I'm mad. I'm a hurt. I'm and then we finish by saying, but yet I will trust you. Yet I will trust you. And so I wonder, you know, is there something that you're going through, you know, in life where you're having a hard time saying, God, I just don't see it. I don't understand it. It could be something that's going on in the world. Life, something going on in your life that you need to say, God, I love you. I don't get it. I'm mad. I'm frustrated. I'm upset. Will you act? But then to finish with, but I trust you. And so that's my hope, you know, for you, for me, you know, on this day. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you are a hope, that you are a strength, and we will put our trust in you. I pray, Father, that you would just heartache that we go through, that you would just help us to cry out to you, to be honest with you, and uh, Lord, to cast on you because you care for us. And then at the end, that we just choose to trust you. And so, Father, I pray that we would just uh, exhibit this exercise, this opportunity to align our hearts to the things of you, to be transparent, vulnerable, and real, and yet allow you to meet us there. And so, Father, we have questions about our world. We have questions about our lives. We have questions about people's lives that we know and love. And yet we, we continue to say we trust you. 